about the Syria thing and uh, concerned about the Korea situation. Don't know what to say about those two. Kind of uh, just watching from the sidelines, which is not usual for me. I usually have a lot to say about things like that, but I don't like to make decisions and voice opinions on things that I have not researched thoroughly, and right now I feel like I have had not, have not had, have had not have not had the time to do so properly, so I will not be making any major comments on those topics at this point, just because I do not feel that I should be voicing opinions on things that I'm not completely informed upon. Um, however, I am not fond of the warmonging ideas that go along with the situation of Syria. I think that we should have taken some time and made sure that that um, chemical weapon was actually put out there by the Syrian government and not just a afterthought by something that was going on, um, say with ISIS or Al-Qaeda, um, storing that kind of thing somewhere that was hit. Um, some of the information that I have seen kind of tends to, to go with that theory and that idea and so I'm I'm a little concerned about that I'm a little upset about it I'm a little um, miffed at our government for that I, I don't know what exactly happened I'm still supportive of Trump but I see that the people that he put in that I was very happy to see in there that were the protection against the neocon globalist factions and the shadow government seem to be disappearing one by one by one and I don't like that idea I don't want to see that happen I don't want to see those people disappearing and I don't want to see them and I mean by disappearing is not being involved not going poof or dying or being knocked off I'm just saying disappearing from the uh, active involvement with government decisions. I think that that's one of the things that's irritating me right now, is that I keep seeing all these people that I really uh, appreciated them being involved, and then they're just going away. And they seem to be the ones that were the ones that, that um, you know, were not the shadow government, were not the globalists. And now he's got a bunch of globalist people just patting him on the back for everything he's done. Somebody, and I don't know who it was, it was in a blog or in a comment feed, probably on Facebook, said, what did they do? Replace him with a clone, referring to Trump. And, uh, you know, I don't think that that's the case. I think that's going a little overboard. But at the same point in time, you know, we, we look at the government and we look at decisions made by our our leaders and so on and we don't have all the information as people and citizens and we don't know what exactly can be um, you know done and what can't be done or what should be done and what should not be done in these situations because we do not have the means to actually have the data and information that would let us make those decisions and that's where you know I'm, I'm concerned um, I'm, I'm relying on his decision-making, Trump's decision-making abilities to determine if those decisions are right and just, and I'm hoping that they are. Um, but at the same point in time, I still have this underlying feeling that the global government, the global elites, and so on, are sticking their fingers in the candy jar, so to speak, and they're getting their way instead of getting slapped down like little children who are abusing privileges, they are 
getting away with things that they used to get away with under other presidencies and are not being drained from the swamp. And that in itself is something that I'm having an issue with. Um, however, we will see how this pans out. Now, my opinion on the Korea thing, I don't know enough about. I am doing research on it right now. But I do know that Korea, North Korea has been, you know, an issue for 50 some odd years. I mean, that's not something that we, we, you know, we have to deal with that issue. And their leader is a horrible person from what I can gather. I mean, he's just not, you know, in generation after generation of his family's been ruling, and they're all just corrupt, evil individuals. And, um, you know, they've been testing nuclear weapons, testing weapons. I don't really think that any of them should have those, uh, honestly. But then again, I don't think anybody should have nuclear weapons. I think that's something that we all need to obliterate. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan even of, of other types of weapons, to be honest with you, but there are needs for them currently. But I don't like this playground mentality, you know, where one side, you know, we're not playing dodgeball here, we're playing with people's lives. And this is not something that we need to be doing. However, I don't want us to look like weaklings either as a country, and I think that that's one of the problems we've had in the past, is that we have laid down and let other people walk upon us instead of taking action and standing up for ourselves. And perhaps there is a time for standing up for yourself and doing a little bit of, um, you know, action. And, and so I don't want to see a World War III in my lifetime. I don't want to see it ever. Even after my lifetime, I'd like to, you know, basically stop more, you know, pretty much at all costs. But at this point, I, I also see that there is a need for some sort of um, rectification as to what is going on in this world. Um, there are things that are come that have been, you know, ignored for a long period of time that are out of hand, and they've just, you know, snowballed into bad or uh, bad situations and worse situations. Batter, yeah. I'm not playing batter Santa. Anyway, um, you know, it's just the the um, the mentality level of some of these things that go on. Though, however, if you think of little children on a playground, and I, I don't really like that. I don't really like that attitude. I think that as human beings, we we need to evolve past that, um, you know, smacking each other around kind of thing. Um, I, I'm definitely not a violent person, and I don't really care for violence. And I think that we have we have gone pretty far with our ability to not be violent and be tactical instead over the last couple hundred years. But at the same point in time, we still we still do violent acts on other people, and even in situations like with Syria, for instance. In all honesty, that was none of our business. We we did not need to be sticking our nose in there. Now, granted, we, we have uh, stuck our noses in the Middle East in the past and really screwed things up over there in that area. And some of it has to be fixed. But I think that, you know, using, using the attack on uh, Syrian people uh, as an excuse to, you know, put, uh, blow up an airfield in Syria is kind of uh, not, our, not our problem. It wasn't our problem. We made it our problem, and now it's created more problems. And I think that's what we need to keep in mind in the future when we make decisions like that. You know, if I have a neighbor who, like like here where I'm at right now, and at, I'm visiting with family, and I was helping my family out uh, cleaning up their yard, and there's a neighbor who will not pick up their trash. I mean, they have beer bottles and containers and plastic and cigarette wrappers and you know, just garbage all over the lawn and it was floating over and drifting into my family's yard and that to me is uh, an issue so you know I played kick the can and, and kicked a lot of it back over into their own yard but at the same point in time I picked up what I had to you know and put it put it in the trash and in doing so I'm thinking to myself well, you know you could go over there and knock on their door and tell them look here motherfuckers stop uh littering in our yard, you know, pick up your own garbage so that it doesn't drift in other people's yards. 
but then it's starting a, a you know starting a war with somebody and it's a lot easier just to walk over to my you know walk over to the little area that's that's on this property and clean up the area that leaving there is looking like garbage and uh, you know when the homeowners association comes along and they see that theirs is garbage and ours is neat well you know they'll take care of the issue you know but it, you could always start a, a big stink about it. I mean, you know, that's 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 an option, and that's what our military and our government seems to do sometimes, is they go over and they basically um, get their noses involved in things that perhaps don't need to be taken care of by us. Um, you know, I, I think we need to be strong. I think we need to show strength in some situations, and I think that sometimes when we don't show strength is when we get taken advantage of. And there's a level of, you know, things being taken advantage of, like in this situation with the neighbor over here, I would say that if, you know, tomorrow I walked outside and there was a bag of garbage ripped open in my yard, I think I would say something at that point in time. But, you know, it's just uh, the level of, of, you know, the situation. Is it minor or is it major? Is it something that can be done and taken care of without a bunch of hassle, or is it something that has to be taken care of because it has to be taken care of or it's going to get worse? And I think that's where they need to, you know, draw the line and debate. And because we people do not do not get good news sources from our government half the time, it is hard for us to tell what really is going on. And therefore, I feel that I cannot make an educated decision and, and um, voice an opinion exactly on these two topics. Because I do not have the data and the information that, say, Trump has or anybody that is in the military um, who's making these decisions. So, you know, I, I don't like having to depend on them to know this, but also at the same point in time we understand that, you know, we can't have all the information because if we had all the information then everybody would have all the information and then there wouldn't be any way to get around these things that everybody would be able to... Um, you know, predict what was going to happen or what move was going to be made next before it was made. And so, anyway, that's about all I got to say. I just uh, hadn't been on here in a little while, and I figured I would go ahead and, and uh, make a few statements about what was going on and uh, about Syria, particularly, and Korea, and, um, you know, apologize for not being here for a little while. And uh, that's about it. And I will uh, try talking on this again maybe tomorrow again or later this evening possibly after I do a little more research. All right, have a good one. Stay strong. You know, don't fall for the fake news. And oh, by the way, yes, don't fall for this whole uh, thing about Alex Jones being an actor garbage. That shit just ticked me off the other day. His lawyer uh, was trying to help with his custody case that, you know, what he does is a persona or an act or whatever on the, on the thing. Well, you know if you've ever worked in any kind of public field, even myself, when I'm talking to you right now, I put on a certain persona when I'm talking to you. I might not speak like this with somebody in person, and that is what they're referring to. And I don't think that it's Alex Jones being a farce. I think it's just who he is online, and, you know, on TV. And who he is at home are probably two separate people, you know. So, anyway, that's all. Have a good one, and take care.